Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to rock? This is the Noble Heretic here, back with another point-and-click adventure. Yay! So, today, as you can probably see on the rather understated title here in the middle of the screen, we're playing Salambo, uh, which is based on a novel by Gustave Flambert, if I'm pr uh, pronouncing that correctly, uh, which, takes uh, which apparently takes place just after the uh, First Punic War between Rome and Carthage, although as you can probably tell by the crazy chaos of brass around us, this is going to be a highly fantasized um, post for... Ah... And that noise. I hope we don't hear more of that. This is going to be a highly fantasized Carthage that we're going to be playing around with. But first, a low res cutscene. This is the story of Spendius, the survivor. He has traveled far and worked at many trades. His fate took a turn for the worse on the day he was captured by the Carthaginians and was enslaved in their great city. Superb are the temples that rise at the heart of the city, in the sacred precinct. Salambo, the Grand Priestess of Tanith, is resplendently beautiful. But Spendius is far from being in a position to appreciate Carthage's splendor. He works until exhausted, whipped by guards on the lookout for the slightest indication that he is slacking off. Seemingly forgotten in a secret dungeon, Spendius curses his fate. He would do anything to gain his freedom. Yeah, I don't think ancient Carthage actually looked like that. Um, I'll probably I'm gonna try and find a picture to put up to show you guys. But yeah, that was <laughs> obviously we're going for like the 300 style Carthage. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that sudden like jerk into the cutscene, um, that wasn't um, that wasn't me editing. That was actually it, that's actually how it's done. So yeah, I don't actually know much about this game other than it's based off of a romance era novel. Although honestly, looking at looking at the cutscene, I'd say more decadence era, and it's apparently first point, uh, first person point and click, click. Oh whoa, hello. <clears throat> okay, so right click brings up a character menu. Let's see here what happens. Can't do any. Whoop. Ah, piss. Okay, thank God. I don't know if that's going to show up in the recording, but wow. <laughs> Seizure induced in flashes. Okay, let's take a look at the skeletons. We've got a spine. Spine on that. Spine. We got a large. Okay, so we've got a large tibia and bones. Just generic bones. And more bones. What we got? Solid bones, as opposed to liquid bones. Very solid bones! Oh my... <laughs> Alright, so do we have like a combine? Option? Oh, whoa! Okay, scared the crap out of me there. Just take some bones and randomly click and we get, well... Head bent over, raised up posterior. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can make... Okay, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to... Yep. Sm uh, supposed to make a bone staircase. Ooh. Um, there's a guard. Knockout guard with bone. Knockout guard with bone. I'm gonna be so angry if this doesn't work. It works! Now, nick his stuff. Nick all of his stuffs. No, we can't. Come on, dress as the guard, then we can just walk our way out of here. 
Okay, there was a... There was something else. There was another door over here. What's in here? We have rope! A bunch of doodles. Anything out the window? No? No? Regulus? SP? <laughs> well, we know who was kept here. It looks like we had a Rome, some uh, Romans in here. And some... What? That looks Aztec. What the hell? But yeah, actually, interesting little note. Yeah, hey, I'm a, I'm a history nerd. You're going to get a lot of these here. Um, yeah, Romans were actually surprisingly literate. Um, in fact, we know this because in Pompeii, there was actually a lot of graffiti that was obviously not written by noblemen. Though... Got a dude on the rack. Can we let it, can we let him go? Can we talk to him? Can we on a hook? Ah, we got the rope. Got another rope. I hope that works out with your back and all. That's called old time chiropractor. Chiropracty? What how what is the verb form of, of a chiropractor? Okay, I think I'm finally getting the hang of the controls here. Ugh. <laughs> we nick a stool. Uh, nope, come on. I have a feeling that the big hurdle in this game is going to be the... Um, it's gonna be the controls. Okay, so we have a stool, we have a table, we have a um we've got a stool, we've got a table, we've got some rope. Or stool, rope, and keys. I wonder. All this fails click everything. Um uh, maybe we should tie this guy up. Oh, okay. I got something. So, can we look up here? Put rope up here. Put rope on table. Put rope on rack. Oh, rope on rack. Ah ha ha! There we are. That's you in your brain. I don't think that has enough. I don't think that works. It would work in real life. All right, out we go. Because tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak and... That was actually a tad loud, give me a sec. Uh-oh. Um, no, we didn't break out, officer. We, um... Be careful. The sacred precinct is full with soldiers. Okay, so as you probably saw in the cutscene, uh, this is, or um, if I can be a tad immature here, these are <laughs> our, our title character. If you are caught, you will be crucified. There is no pardon for escaped slaves. Uh, right, thanks. Oh, hang on, I'm not... My name is... I'm not gonna try and lie, because obviously we are, we've got chains around our wrists. I am Salambo, daughter of Hamilcar, and Grand Priestess of Tanith. The goddess has visited my dreams. She told me to come to this place, and so, if I meet you here now, it is because she has chosen you to be my messenger. Obey me in all things, and I will help you escape Carthage. So to give you a little bit of, in, of uh, background here, uh, I did a bit of research. Other than um, Hamilcar, well, Actually, this here I didn't have to do research for. I know offhand because my uh, I have a bachelor's in history. Uh, Hamilcar, he, Hamilcar Barca, he was actually the Carthaginian general in the First Punic War and father of everyone's favorite uh, conqueror, Hannibal. So this is Hannibal's sister, essentially. What's that in your hand? Oh, okay. 
Uh, what do you want? An from army me? of mercenaries is camped outside the city. The most important of their chiefs is named Matho. He gained glory while fighting Rome on behalf of Carthage. I noticed him during a banquet. Our eyes crossed, and I haven't been able to forget him. I love him. Go find him and tell him all of this. Tell him to ask my father for my hand in marriage. To prove my love for him, you'll give him a statuette in my image. You really don't have that much uh, emotion. Your eyes are like dead. Um, I'm not gonna refuse because railroading. <laughs> Um, I am kind of curious, though. What a strange information you are entrusting me with. I want You're to know more. You're suspicious. Ask your questions, and I'll answer them. Not so much suspicious as curious, because although curiosity killed the cat, satisfaction brought him back. Um, how can you be are you sure what Matho feels? If like I you? love him, he must feel <clears throat> the same. The goddess would not want it otherwise. Am I not her adopted daughter? Have I not honored her every day of my life? How could she allow me to love, unrequited? Well, if she was a dick, then yeah, she would allow you to do that. You have really bad logic, you know that? Uh, why me? The priestesses, my followers, would gladly render me such a service. But they'd talk too much, and the entire city would learn of my secret in no time. Ah, uh, because the maids know everything. Why not confine your... Eh, not going to bother with that one. Let's get out of here. Have you noticed the carriage and mounts in the yard? A convoy is preparing to leave Carthage. It's the escort of Hanan, the treasurer, who will soon be leaving to go pay the mercenaries. Hide yourself in the bags, and you can leave the city without being detected. Quickly, may Tanith guide you. So we got a statue. Not going that way. What? Ah, piss. Following Salambo's advice, the fugitive hides in Hanan the treasurer's bags. This ruse makes it possible to leave the sacred precinct and then the city without being stopped. I really hope you guys can see that better than I can. Hanan and his escort are on their way to pay mercenaries that are camped outside of the ramparts. These men served Carthage during a lengthy war with Rome that was eventually lost. They are impatiently waiting to receive the money that is still owed them. After a short walk, Hanan stops in front of the mercenary camp. The treasurer lectures the men while his interpreter translates for those who do not understand Carthaginian. Hanan orders the Gallic mercenaries to present themselves first to receive what is due them. The others will then follow in turn. During this speech, Spendius leaves his hiding place. Hindered by the chains around his hands, he unfortunately drops the statuette he was to give to Matho. How Double. will the mercenary chief react when he receives his gift, broken in pieces? A distressing question, for Spendius needs Matho's protection if he is to escape the Carthaginians who will be looking for him. Yeah, as I said, I really hope that that looks better than how it looks better for you than how it did for me. God damn, you're ugly. Okay, so what do we got? We've got broken statue. What's over here? Actually, hand. This looks like a, an eventual way to go, but I want to. Well, I'm. Um, uh, fuck me. <laughs> you guys aren't having too good of a time, are you? By the horns of the black demon, an escaped slave. You'll get your due, you vermin. Ah, fuck. Spendius has once again fallen into the hands of the Carthaginians. After a brutal interrogation, he begs for the punishment reserved for rebellious slaves. Fuck. 
Okay, so that was the right way to go. I guess the crucifixion was kind of the uh, was kind of a giveaway. Who are you, and what are you doing in the mercenary camp? Oh, shit, you snuck up on me from the front. Lie or or? Oh, we just died. So let's. See what honesty gets us. See, Matho. What does a vagrant such as yourself want with Matho? You're a curious messenger. But all right, answer Matho's tent. He can judge for himself. I heard you speak yeah, to my honesty guns, works. Ideas. What is this gift that you bring me? Let me see. Hold breath. Wait to get uh, wait to get gutted. That's your gift. All I see is a broken object. Explain yourself before your skull is in the same condition as this statue. Um, no, just go straight to the point. Salambo. By the seven Kabiris, the memory of her beauty is sheer torture. I would like to envelop her, absorb her, and drink her. But you tell the truth. She is really the one who sent you. Repair the statuette and show me. Then I'll know whether or not you've lied. Dude, you're a you're a little bit creepy and a little bit pervy. Okay, so Actually, what happens if we uh Oh, nope, never mind. Okay. Um well, at least we know we're safe this way. Hey, it's Shredder! Oh, uh, no, that's where we came in. This way? I can't tell if this is Carthaginian or mercenary. It all looks the same. Yeah. That's a nice way to introduce a shopkeeper. Da da Shopkeeper Hello comrade. As I am a Numidian, life is beautiful. I will soon receive the money that is owed me, and until then, I drink spice wine on credit. A wandering wine merchant who left me to watch it. Oh, employee benefits, I see. What I'm drinking is too strong for you. It's wine mixed with pepper and other secret ingredients. Crack. The Carthaginians give this to their battle elephants to ready them for combat. So it's crack. Hello, comrade. Okay, no, never mind. The wine. Alrighty, toodaloo. Actually, hang on. Does he know of a way to mend the statue? Nope. 